I'm going to show you how to spend your day at Super Nintendo World. Located in Universal Studios Japan here in Osaka. The first thing that you're going to need are these power-up bands. They're used to interact with all the blocks that are scattered throughout the park, so you can collect coins and points and you can keep up with your stats on the app. There's also different stations where you can scan your band and you can check your stats from there too. Next, head to Bowser's Castle so you can experience Mario Kart in AR. After that, head out to the 1UP factory. Load up on souvenirs you can only get here. Once you're dressed up, go meet up with your favorite characters. They're all over the park. You can't miss them. Head to Kinopio's Cafe for a bite to eat. Here's some recommended menu items that we got. Here's the teriyaki chicken and superstar rice, the super mushroom pizza bowl, Mario's bacon cheeseburger, the superstar lemon squash, and the superstar hot yuzu lemonade. Oh yeah, and the mushroom soup. Finish it off with a block of tiramisu. Next, head out to Yoshi's Adventure. This is a super chill ride that allows you to be able to enjoy views of Nintendo World from the top. After you experience all the main attractions, go play the mini games. Completing all the mini games and collecting the three keys will allow you to battle Bowser Jr. It is awesome to be able to see the game that we've known and loved for years come to reality. Ever wonder what it's like to stay at a capsule hotel in Japan? This is the 9 hours capsule hotel at Narita Airport. Perfect if you want to stay overnight at the airport or if you just want to take a quick nap. And it's a really cheap option too. They give you a key and a bag of stuff for your stay. It comes with room slippers, a nightgown, bath towels, toothbrush, and toothpaste. When you first enter, you go to where the lockers are. The lockers seem spacious enough for a larger luggage and a carry-on. And of course, in Japanese culture, you need to change your shoes before entering the other rooms. The next area is a communal bathroom space with sinks and toilets and a vanity area as well. Walking a little further in, there's a private shower room. And my favorite part, the sleep pods. I feel like I just walked into the year 3020. There's pods at the top and at the bottom, and they're actually quite spacious. There's an outlet, room lighting, background music, and emergency alarm. Above me are fire and smoke detectors. Today in Tokyo, we found these magic singing pills. We had to take them to karaoke to try them out. Karaoke is extra in Japan. You can cosplay and even have additional music instruments to play with. The singing booths are usually on a separate floor. The view from our booth was so sick, we could even see Godzilla from our window. The lights are extra, the mics are always wrapped before first use, there are a variety of song choices, yes even in English, and you can even score yourself as a challenge. You can order drinks or even order all you can drink. You can order food and you usually do that by the phone and someone will come and serve it to your booth. We got takoyaki and nugs, but it's time to put the pills to the test. Maya played the challenge mode to keep a score on her singing. There's a gauge throughout the song that helps keep score. The pills take about 15 minutes to kick in and they're supposed to loosen your vocal cords so she sang how far I'll go and she ended up scoring an 85. We waited a while and we did a round two with the same song and she ended up scoring even higher. So was it pills or placebo? Underneath the Tokyo Sky Tree is the Kirby Cafe. Japan is obsessed with their character cafes. Some of them are permanent character cafes like this one or some of them are pop-up character cafes. There are so many things to pick from this Kirby menu, so I'm gonna pick a few things. And what I love about Japan is that usually whatever you pick, whatever you see is what you get. So we got the pizza in the shape of Kirby's mouth. Kirby is inhaling some finger foods. This adorable hamburger, Kirby sleeping. Kirby powering up with some veggies. And this loco moco that comes in this Kirby bowl. What I loved about this item the most was that after you're finished, you can keep the rice bowl as a souvenir. And if that didn't satisfy you, you can always go to the Kirby Cafe souvenir shop and they have a ton of Kirby items that you could take home.